um, in notebook sample number eight, we are going to be drafting um, gathering at our shoulder seam, but we're still leaving the front waist darts. This will be our first time getting to use our back pattern piece as well. So we'll be sewing our shoulder seam to it. Um, so if you can see in the camera, see how there's some gather, a gathering detail on the front. So this is our first time doing gathers. So before we start, can you even imagine what this pattern would look like? Starting with our, our trusty sloper here. We still have the dart here, um, but then we have something changing here. What would this pattern piece have to look like in order to sew something like this? So, in order to do gathers, we need extra fabric, and the extra fabric gets squeezed together. So you can see from these two patterns, this one's longer and is more fabric. And we put a basting stitch in, and then we squeeze it together, and that's how we get all of our little gather details. But our back is going to be longer when these two get sewn. I'll explain it when we do it. It's kind of crazy, but um, but yeah, this is the look we're going for. You can add gathers all over a pattern. Gathers are are used widely. Um, maybe you don't always see it at the shoulder seam every day, but you could, I guess. Um, you see them at the waist, you see them at the umpire, you see them at the bust. Um, gathers are very popular. So we're gonna learn how to transfer gathers into our sloper. Okay, notebook sample number eight. We're going to be adding gathers to our design. Um, so we're gonna start with um, our basic sloper, our front bodice, and to sew up this one, you will actually need a back bodice as well. So you'll need to print that out too. Now to get started, we need to move our dart point up to our bust point. So let's go ahead and do that. Great. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out our sloper so we can work with it. Okay, so to get started, for figure one, it first tells us to mark our, our dart legs, A and B. Then it wants us to draw slash lines one inch out from each side of our mid shoulder. So apparently our mid shoulder is just right in the middle, right here. So if we wanna be exact, well, we could get a ruler and measure it, or we can just fold it in half. There we are, that's probably easier. So this is our mid shoulder right there and they want us to draw a line to our bust point. And then an inch out from each side. However, we are using the half scale, so I'm gonna do just half an inch instead of one full inch. So here's one half an inch and half an inch. And then draw both of these lines to meet at our bust point. Figure two, we're gonna cut our slash lines to but not through the bust point. Okay. Two, but not through, so we have to be very careful. Okay, pretty good, I think. Great. Very delicate. Okay. Now, we want to place on pattern paper and bring dart leg B and A, oh, bring dart leg B halfway to A. So we're just kind of eyeballing it. It's not an exact measurement. 
Um, now they would like us to spread our slash sections equally and secure it. I might turn my paper over. There we go. And I'm going to secure it with tape. How's that? Let's start with this being secured. This guy, maybe about like that. And then you guys, I said equally. Okay. Um, trace the outline of the pattern. Can you guys see my pencil marks? I'm switching to red because I want you to see my pencil mark. We're gonna place some notch marks, half an inch from the shoulder and neck for gather control, and we are in half scale. So half of one inch is one fourth. Here's one notch. And our other notch. Great. Draw a blending line along the shoulder touching the center sections of our slash line. So I kind of already did it. If you want to use one of your curved ruler tools, feel free, but I feel like mine actually turned out kind of nice. Okay, great. Um, so we're basically ready to add our seam allowance and cut out this guy here. Okay, I went ahead and I sewed my darts closed, I had two shoulder darts, two waist darts on our back piece, and two waist darts on our front. Up here, I put in a basting stitch. So I did a back stitch, my stitch length is kind of long. I have um, a black thread on top and then a bottom white thread. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the black thread, the top one, to gather my shoulder. There we are, oopsies. There we go. I'm gonna to try to spread out my gathers evenly. And I'm gonna gather it just until my notches line up. So it looks like I pulled my gathers too tight. These two match up, but this one's much shorter. So I'm gonna pull it out. There we are. And then I'm just gonna to try to spread my gathers evenly. And then once I'm happy, I'm gonna put right sides together and I'm gonna sew this seam together. Okay, sew them together. Might as well just check that seam allowance. Yep, half an inch and half an inch. Great, so I'm gonna flip it. So you can kind of see what it looks like. Yeah, I should still take it to the iron and give it a press and um, yeah.